I received an email the other day from a, a woman, I believe it was by uh, the name that she used, although it could have either been a man or a woman, I'm not sure. But the question was, because the name was could go either way, the question was, where does my negative mindset come from? Where did it begin? I'm struggling. People around me are always asking me why I'm so cynical, why I'm so negative, and I have no idea how it started or when it started, and I think it's a great question. 99% of the time, if we have a negative mindset in the world and we're an adult, it came from zero to 18. It came from either having a mom, a dad, a grandma, a grandpa with a negative attitude. Now, a lot of us would say, oh, come on now, I'm 40. How does what zero to 18 affect me? And as a matter of fact, it's the most outrageously impressionable years of our lives. Zero to 18, we're trying to find ourselves, we're trying to be accepted. Um, many of us are struggling because of the fact that we're the black sheep of the family and no one seems to get us. I mean, it's very, very difficult times. But in those formidable years, zero to 18, if you're in an environment where mom or dad are arguing about politics or dad is always arguing about politics and mom is just silent or, you know, there's other kinds of negativity. Maybe dad comes home from work and talks all the time about all the idiots at work or maybe mom does the same or maybe grandpa or grandpa are constantly coming. Do you see what I'm saying? It's zero to 18, man. This is where most of the negativity that we carry into adulthood begins with. Now, not going to bash parents, bash up grandparents, because come on, at the age of 20 or 25 or 30, or at some point, we should say, you know, I've got such a crap attitude, I have to get help. That's our responsibility. It's not our fault that it was put into our subconscious that being negative is normal because that's what a lot of people grow up with. I mean, if you grew up with an alcoholic dad or mom, negative is normal, right? It's like you don't feel safe in your own home. You don't feel safe in your own environment. So we have to be very, very careful, but this is the beginning of a negative mindset for sure. And then as we go on, we can either shatter it or it can become even more of an identity for us. If a negative mindset gets us a lot of attention, which it often does, that's that attention person in us that wants to be seen and recognized, right? And so if we're negative and we're putting people down and everything, we can get a lot of attention. As a matter of fact, years ago, I did a video on YouTube about why do women love gossip so much? And we go back into the 40s and 50s and 60s. And whoever had the most dirt in the neighborhood, whatever woman, could come up with the most dirt of, did you know that Sally and Mark are splitting or whatever, would be considered the leader, right? And it's all negativity. Gossip is all negativity. So you have the leader of the pack that's filled with negativity and everyone underneath him or her is the same way, right? So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Right now in 2024, if you have a negative attitude, you've got to look at a couple things. Am I watching too much news? I think watching any news is too much. That's just David Essel's opinion. Am I watching too much television? Am I on social media arguing too much? Am I surrounded by people that are negative and conspiracy theorists? Now, I want to tell you something. Everything I've mentioned right up to this point is purely a choice. It's your choice to keep watching TV and be negative. It's your choice to hang out with negative people, conspiracy theorists, and still stay with them, right? It's all your choice. So if you have a negative mindset, I hate to say this, but it's your creation. It's my creation. We have the opportunity to either be negative, positive, neutral, or whatever. If we're carrying that negative identity, we're probably doing it for attention, quite frankly. But if you look in the mirror, you'd say, David Essel's an idiot. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm arguing politics because I'm right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Incredible negative attitude can be obliterated. But you first have to find the, the, the source. And you have to eliminate the head of the snake. If that means eliminating news, eliminating certain people, eliminating social media, whatever the hell you got to do that's creating that negative mindset, get the strength to do it. Reach out to someone like me. This stuff isn't easy. I've reached with people, I've worked with people from all over the world that were, you know, social media addicts 17 hours a day, for God's sake. I just talked to an individual and they're going to go possibly go through a divorce because they have a different opinion on politics. That's all negative attitude. You, you, you don't go through a potential, or even talk about going through a divorce over politics. Now, that tells me there's something very deep and negative. Then we got to get to that core and get it out. Listen, I can help you. We've been doing this for 45 years as a counselor, number one best-selling author, and more. Reach out to me at talkdavid.com. I guarantee I can help you take that negative mindset, find the origin, eliminate the origin, add new tools to lift your spirits and to bring you up. I'm not going to say you have to be a cheerleader in life. But let's get out of this negativity.
your mind, body, and spirit will thank you. I am at davidessel.com or talkdavid.com. We're here all the time working with people all over the world. My only purpose in life is to help others heal. Have a beautiful day.